Guess where we're going. Let's I can't go. We're here in uh, Newark Airport and we're getting ready to head off to Santorini, Greece to Look at celebrate. That, that lighting is amazing too. <laughs> and we're celebrating our five-year anniversary on the 15th, so. Yes, yep. sir. We're still waiting in line. It's hot. Airport Chronicles. Ooh. You happy? We're super hyped right now. We have been counting down this trip for the past few months. Few months. <laughs> and we knew we were going for a little over a year now. So it's just, we're ready. Time to go live it up. Oh, we're here. Uh, we gotta go through customs before we actually connect to our local flight to Santorini. What time is it? It's like, it's like 10 15, 10 30 a.m. We gotta get through this. And then we'll be at it. Finally made it through customs, and now we're heading to our gate. Our flight takes off in a few minutes. We we're able to make our flight. Yeah, I'm mean, gonna be honest, like it's been a seamless process for an international flight where most people have are in their jitters and their have anxieties and concerns. Like I think like from the moment we left our home to go to the airport, it's just been seamless. Yeah. We haven't had any issues and uh, don't anticipate any. So should be in Santa really shortly. Later. So this is what we doing, babe. Look at that sunset. Isn't the sunset so beautiful? It's like, damn. Like whatever you see online or in videos, don't even do it justice. Like the kind of energy that I'm catching just off of the DNA is just amazing. Vitalizing. The boats have docked in the water. You zoom in, you can see a lot of the boats because the sunset is, you know, when you come to Santorini, especially if you're going to visit Loya, you want to make sure that you see that sunset. Yeah. And luckily for us, we don't have to leave our balcony or where we're staying. We can see the sunset right from our own backyard. This is amazing. Let's go crack the champagne. All right, let's go. The next day. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> Watch a step, babe. here at Santorini Sky and when I found this um this like activity I fell in love with it first of all because it's an exclusive and private location here at the Santorini Sky Villas in Paragos Village and it overlooks the city 
you also have like your own igloo of the sort with lights it comes with whether you want food or wine um and we have a music radio so we can connect and play music it's just a whole vibe up here hey, and God. The point of this is it's called the stargazing experience. So they have two types. There's a stargazing experience and a sunset experience um, because we could see the sunset from our balcony. But I feel like this um, experience is a little different. I'm in love with it. I'm this in love with the ambiance. Like we're literally the only igloo up in this location because they have so many sparse around the, the actual. Mountain. Yeah. So the fact that we're the only ones in this area, I love it. It's so quiet. I could hear a pin drop. Yeah, so I just hear wind. If if you come to Santorini and you're looking for something dope to do that's quiet, you wanna come here because this sets the tone. You could literally look out, see the city, see the lights, and then stargaze, listen to music, drink some wine. It's a whole vibe. So I'm loving it. I'm loving it. <laughs> Santorini pretty much at one of the highest points in the city and can see everything. Cheers. Cheers. To a, a wonderful experience here at Santorini, Santorini Sky. Sky. Yes. With the dome overlooking the city, stargazing at the same time. Cheers to you, my dear, for curating this experience. Let's enjoy. The next day. Good morning. As you can see, this huge, huge smile on my face. Um, so we got up this morning and we were talking about our luggage still not being here. Literally had a plan to execute and go and get our luggage. Mm -hmm. Long story short, um, this morning, Bay gets a call from Athens airport telling us our luggage is on our way mm. to <laughs> JTR. And do you know how happy that made us feel? Like. First of all, this was a humbling experience. I'll start with that. That's a humbling experience. Very. Um, Very. Coming here with only a few items in our carry-on and being able to work with what we have. Yeah. on bike riding and um, I, my sneakers are packed in my check baggage. <laughs> so. She's wearing my kicks. And these I'm are a little big on me, so. And I'm still wearing my flight outfit from when we arrived here in Greece. So, so we just, this is, you know, adapted. My dad is a spiritual man, so he literally was like, God is going to get your luggage there. It's going to be there today, which is, he said tomorrow, which is today. It's today. And literally just hearing that call, I'm like, nah, like, I'm real. I was coming, I would check, I would just bring my luggage on the plane because checking your bag baggage is super risky. Yeah. Like, the amounts of luggage in the airport at JTR is insane. And the amount of luggage in Athens that they say, it's like over 5,000 bags. Taking a risk, you're gambling without having. We we met people in the airport that literally said they only had, they've been without their bag, um, luggage for five days and they have nothing. When we were there yesterday, um, we met somebody who, you know, on the opposite side was without their luggage for two days. I mean, like the story, the horror stories you hear are just insane. That out of all of those 5,000 bags, all of the people, we had someone, reach out in our behalf um that my husband was able to get in touch with um and find our luggage just made just made our day so now it made our trip made our trip <laughs> it changed the whole trajectory i mean you know we you know we had faith and we were gonna just adapt and flow with the punches and we were prepared to enjoy a, a night in athens just to go over there to get our luggage ourselves yep. and bring it back but now we don't have to do that because the luggage is coming directly to us and, you know, our trip can really continue because it's already began, you know. And we, we did, say we enjoy it loosely because we had to train our minds to see it that way. Like yep. The whole trip we to did. Athens was 
a misery, a mess. Like we didn't even want to go there. But we were like, you know what? We did want to just end up going there anyways for something. So we're like, let's just make the most of it. Look at the bright side of it. And now we don't have to. So yes, I just wanted to let you guys know yeah. we're going to have our luggage in hand today. I could finally wash my face with facial wash Yo. and like not body gel. Like the small the amenities small that things. you, that's the basic things that you don't, you take for granted a lot. Especially if you travel in a foreign country, you realize how impactful it is. It is to have all your belongings when you're first day in, in that place. So, whew. Yeah, I'm hyped. I'm happy. Me too. All right, we're heading out to go bike right in. See you guys on later. Bikes. <laughs>
We have a Briam, it's a vegetarian dish from the island with zucchini, eggplant, uh, carrot, potatoes, fresh tomato, red peppers, and olive oil. That sounds so good. This is black eyed beans with a spinach and cumin. It's a very protein, yeah. protein food. This is the tzatziki. This is sausage from the from Crete, smoked sausage, and pork steak with balsamico. Cheese that uh, for fresh cheese from the island. Rusk from the wooden bakery with uh, olive oil, fresh tomato, uh, feta cheese and oregano on the top. And this is omelette from our garden wow. with zucchini and mint. Perfect. Oh, wow, wow. Yeah. Bon appetit. One hour later. So we just finished leaving the airport. Um, after our tour, we headed straight here to get our luggage. Literally a happy kid in the candy store. It was a little nerve wracking waiting because I'm like, here we go again, like another hurdle, another obstacle. Now we gotta wait, because they don't, you know, they wanna pace things and do it at their own pace. It's like, we just wanna get our bags and get out. Right, and I, I, felt, I felt so bad for that young guy that was we're talking to in the airport. He literally has been out here for about the same time. He got out here Thursday. And he ended up picking up his luggage to find out it wasn't his. That's stuff. like winning the lottery only to find out you have a fake ticket. Right. And his wife has her stuff, but he doesn't have it. And yeah, and now he's back here going through this stuff again because it didn't seem like when he was leaving they could find his actual bag. Yeah. So it's like square one. It's like so deflating, you know. It was a very hard situation. It was, we felt hopeless without having our belonging in a foreign country. And like God really blessed us and worked it out. Uh, work with people and make things happen and he's shown us favor uh, and now we have our bags there are people who don't been five days without bags and we heard a story with a guy who been three months without bags so for us to be just three days in we landed on friday and sunday and we have our bags and we still have an entire week exactly. to spend we're definitely blessed the next day uh, morning time here in Santorini and we're starting our day getting ready to go to brunch at this one place in Fera called Galini yes, looking sir. forward to the views looking forward to the food everything just looks really really good um, and you know we're just really excited about getting our last days of festivities in here in Amerigo Valley because uh, tomorrow we'll be heading to stay in Ia so we're really gonna just hit the town today, have food, spend time in the local community, just live it up and um, catch a vibe. One of a kind. It's, it's just so beautiful and dope. The camera does it no justice. It's trust unreal. me. It's unreal. Later. We are out, ready to hit the town again. We're getting ready to go to Fira again for a cocktail making class so this is very exciting um greece is known for their wineries so it's really cool to be able to go to a cocktail making class to test out what they're known for when it comes to the just cocktails in general <music> Kind of annoying. It's so crazy getting it. First of all, it's in the cut down the stairs, 
and our driver took us to like literally a half week. And just dropped Once us we off. got off, we walked uphill, we walked downhill. We had to ask a few people where it was, but it's not a place that you can easily find. Exactly. You guys can see what it's like to have cocktails with potassium. Greek, Greek cocktails specifically. Exactly. So we're going to learn three Greek cocktails that we're going to bring back home to the States and start doing it, chefing it up for our friends. So. Cocktail making tutorial. 
And this drink is called the... We call it Volcano. The volcano. And here it is. Yamas. Thank you. Please. Yamas. Yamas. Shake it up. It Ooh, gets cold. It gets cold. So what do you think? You think I got a future in uh, bartending? 50-50. Feels like this comes natural to me, man. Great. So take the glass. Take the glass. Full of uh, crushed ice. I literally just ran, changed my shoes, and ran out here. It's so beautiful. And the weather isn't too cold tonight, so it's like the perfect time to see. Hey guys, don't leave my channel just yet. Don't forget to check out the latest videos here on my YouTube channel.